About three hours north of San Luis Potosi is a small former mining village called Real de Catorce, a place that once housed 40,000 people and now only has around 1,000. In other words, it's a small ghost town tucked high away in the mountains. I came here for two reasons. One, to get away from it all and bathe in seclusion. And two, to walk around this ghost town and see its treasures. The streets are cobblestone and many houses around are abandoned. Some of the people that are still here get around by horse, others by trucks and cars, and there are animals everywhere. To get here, you must go through a small mile and a half tunnel through a mountain. Once you arrive, you have to find your hotel on foot. I stayed at a place called Hotel El Real, which has photos everywhere of Brad Pitt and Julia Roberts, since this is the place where they filmed the movie The Mexican. My very first stop was the Parroquia de la Ferisma Concepcion. The guidebook says it's the most beautiful church in northeast Mexico. Inside, there are beautiful statues and paintings all around. But what struck me most was the life-size statue of St. Francis de Assisi. To people in this region, St. Francis is very important. People come here to pray to him, ask for miracles, or come to give thanks. Is this why my father's middle name is Francis? In the back of the church are letters and photos from believers asking St. Francis for miracles, from a cure to someone's cancer to the health of a child. One letter next to an infant's photo simply said this, if you only grant me one miracle, I beg you, grant me this. There was another letter by an ultrasound of a baby in a mother's stomach. And then there was a plaque from an American soldier returning from Iraq. Yes, a Mexican-American soldier. In this cold room with all these letters, you could feel the power of belief and all that inspires. So when the time came, I wrote my own letter. For food, I opted to avoid the many Italian restaurants around town. Italians and the French come here to try to score some peyote from the nearby Huicho Indians, other relatives of mine. In Boston, I can get Italian food anytime, so here in Real de Catorce, I opted to try something else. I visited a small place called Doña Chila, named after an elder woman who runs the place. She and her workers made homemade tortillas for me, for huevos and bean tacos. They also made enchilada potosinos, a great dish I wish my family had never left behind. After I ate there the second time, I asked Dona Chila to describe her village. La ciudad real de 14, este, pues ya tiene muchos años que se fundó. Es muy antigua. Hay muchas cosas que ver. Es una ciudad minera. Fue muy rica en aquellos antepasados. Pagaban el oro, la plata, con báscula, los pesaban y con eso pagaban los trabajadores. Este, está rodeado de minas, la iglesia de la Purísima Concepción es muy bonita, muy antigua. Y señor San Francisco, que es muy milagroso, San Francisco de Asís, vienen diariamente a verlo a él, a pagar las mandas que hace, le traen ofrendas. Los huicholes vienen aquí a ver el Cerro del Quemado, hacen sus ceremonias. Ahorita ya está muy moderna la gente, ya está muy más civilizada. Antes había más hambre, ahora ya no ahora. Todos vendemos, todos comemos. Tomorrow, I take a horseback riding trip to La Ciudad de los Fantasmas. It's a ghost town up in the mountains where no one lives. I hear the place has the same persona of Comala, the town of Mexican writer Juan Rodolfo's surreal novel, Pedro Padimo. My arm is still recovering from a nightstick fracture, so wish me luck along the ride. I hear it's rough. This is Russell Contreras in Real de Catorce, San Luis Potosí, Mexico.